All right, man, let's talk about uh, Antonio Pierce. He's the new coach of the Oakland, well, the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I think he played linebacker with the Giants um, from Southern California. I think he might be from Compton. He went on record today to talk about X Raider, new Detroit Lion, which I think he's endear he's endearing himself to a lot of the fans in Detroit by some of the remarks he's made on social media. I think a lot of people think he fit right on in. You know, you just wonder why it didn't really work in Vegas. Maybe it was a numbers thing or whatever. But Antonio Pierce, you know, says that he has, he hate to say it, he has a little man complex. You know, says he's a uh, gifted athlete, but he's undersized. He says very talented ball hawk at 5'8 or 5'9. He just undersized, you know, a little short, angry man complex. I used to hear some, <laughs> one of my managers joke about it <laughs> sometimes. She was a female, about guys having short complex and not just in the height department. It used to be funny. She'd make this joke when angry guys came in. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, it's definitely a thing, man. I think, uh, real quick, short man complex is even more up under a microscope today because apparently. You know, y'all let people, women preferences on the internet uh, sway y'all opinion. And I, I be saying what they say on the internet is not always reality. It's not music reality, but uh, no short dudes. You got to be six this, six foot this. Like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. But so that's making them a little bit more angry. I, and all the short guys I knew, I don't think they really had an issue getting women. So this is new to me. But yeah, he a little feisty dude. You know what I'm saying? You can already tell. He got a chip on his shoulder. Some people chip come from being short. Some people chip come from being the underdog. Um, you know, some people find a reason to have a chip on their shoulder. But I like it. I like the feistiness. I like the greediness. I like the dog in him. That means he going to fight through injuries. That means he going to fight to get the ball. I mean, he's an amazing athlete. He ain't lying. You know, he's a guy that's known to go into the slot, pose to cover the Wes Welkers of the world. Um... Those are the guys who you post to cover, um, you know, the St. Browns of the world, you know, but then, you know, they thrust them out wide to, to cover, to cover the, the bigger receivers and he held his own. What about that highlight pick of him getting on Christian Watson? You know, Christian Watson, before Aaron Rodgers left, he was trending to be one of the next best things in football in Vegas. You know, he had to make up speed. And he jumped up. If he didn't get as high as he got, bro, that's a touchdown. You know, that's a touchdown. Amic Robson jumped up, picked the ball off. And, you know, when you talk about ball hawk, you know, if Cam Sutton or Vidor had a little bit of ball hawk, we would have made the Super Bowl. You know, Vidor let the ball hit him in the sun visor. You let a ball hawk get that opportunity. That's a pick. Now that, that game is over with at that point. So you need guys who can take the ball away and, Obviously, you know, people, especially in today's uh, climate, people like names. They like name brands, you know, a lot of legacy brands. You know, I remember people were saying, you, you had North Face in the 90s? Like, we all just think some of this shit just popped up yesterday. People like brands, brand names. It's not about the quality no more. You can have a name, but do you still maintain the integrity and quality? So... You talking about Stephon Gilmore, Xavier Howard, and some of these other guys out here. He said, "Oh, y'all got me. I don't need them." But people like the idea of the name, having the big name. You know, even though if they pass the expiration date or a little bit past their prime, you know, that's what people want. But, uh, but yeah, you. I mean, this is one of the, you know. He said, "I hate to say it, but he kind of got it out a little bit, you know, little man's complex." But that that's what make him feisty and fight and grapple and scrap. And that's all Dan Campbell want. He want guys that's that's gonna go in that foxhole. He know, you know, they gonna use their last breath to keep fighting and keep grinding and keep grappling, scrapping and keep grappling. That's what you want. That's what you want. I'm going to give it all heart. And, you know, that's what the guys they're looking for. Guys, not guys that just love football, per se. Guys that's passionate. Guys that's going to fight scrappers and all that. And I think, you know, you hate to use the um, the comment, little man's complex or Napoleon complex and all that stuff. 
yeah, you hate to use those terms, but in this way, I think it was a term of endearment. And he said, you hate to lose a guy like that. You know, and I don't understand why they didn't bring him back. Maybe, you know, two years, about $10 million, nine and a half was too much. Maybe they had other plans. But all they do is continue to add fuel to the fire. You know, so his ability to play out wide, his ability to play on the inside, you know, gives more, you know, you know, give more to the pot of versatility in the back end. You know, in that back end, you know, you got Melifano that can play the corner. You know what I'm saying? You got Brian Branch that can play nickel and can play safety. You know, so you got you got you got some things that's going on out there. So, you know, just knowing what Carlton Davis history as far as injuries, you know, you probably do need to get another corner. You know, had you know, you know, you feel comfortable with Xavier Howard, Stephon Gilmore drafting the guy. Still think they need another one. Even with Cam Sutton, we was talking about they should get another one. You know, so, but you know, at the end of the day, yeah, you want scrappers. You want grab. You know, scrappers. You know, had he been two or three inches taller, hey man, you shoot, dude probably would have been a first round pick. But um, but yeah, that that you know, dudes with you know little small dudes, they usually do have Napoleon complex. They always feel like. You know, they got to always got to prove they self. I used to fight the man. I mean, for some reason, little, small, shorter guys always wanted to fight. I ain't never understood. They always wanted to fight. Like, is that because people are taller than you and shit? They was always going around looking for a fight to prove their point. He used to wake up angry in the morning. Like, dude, go get your Dunkin' Donuts or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um... But, but yeah, I think he paid him. Uh, I think he gave him a high stamp of approval. But you know, we gotta wait and see. But I think he'd be a fan favorite. You know, maybe at some point, you know, he could transition to safety too. But you got guys like Justin Simons out there safety still. You got guys like Stephon Gilmore. You got guys like Xavier Howard. You got a draft full of corners. A lot of people like the Kool Aid McKissing kid. But the thing about that is, he got a Liz Frank injury in the foot. You want to take a first round pick on, on an injured player? I mean, y'all did that with uh Jameson Williams, and we still waiting. You gotta remember that. You took a third round quarterback, he was injured in Hendon Hooker. Took a second round guy with a back injury in Levon Azorki. We still waiting on him. I think it's a wrap. You took the other kid, uh, uh Josh Pascal. He I mean he's flash here and there, but he ain't never healthy. So you gotta take a ball to gambles. You took DJ Ward Reader coming off his second torn uh torn quad. Carlton Davis always injured. So at what point do you put a premium on durability? You know, so um this is my opinion on it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist more videos like this. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.